Hey, this is Joe from Personas, and a few months ago, I did this video where I taught you how to shrink song files in Studio One. Now, this was a Studio One minute, meaning a less than one minute video, uh, so I went through it fairly quickly, but I want to expand on this a little bit just to help you understand how file management works in Studio One uh, and how to safely shrink the size of your session files to save on hard drive space and to make collaboration a little bit easier. I'll explain more on that in just a second. Okay, I've got a couple of folders here open uh, in Finder. So this is a folder with some tracks that I want to bring into a session. This is my songs folder for all my Studio One songs. Meaning, if you go into Preferences, Locations, this folder that you select, this is where all your songs, projects, shows, and presets, and templates live. That's the folder that we're seeing here. Okay, On the left is my songs folder, on the right is a folder with some tracks. Let's create a brand new song and let's call it Durr. Um, that'll just be easy to find. <laughs> Let's delete this so we have nothing in our session. Uh, and one thing you may not know, there's a bunch of options over here in the browser. One of them is pool. Pool just means what are the audio files associated with this song. And right now there's nothing. It's completely empty. We can hit save. There's nothing here. Um, if we come over to our folders now, we can see there's a new folder called dir. And if we open this up, there's the song file and there's the media folder. Sometimes there's more folders if there's more stuff. If we open the media folder, we can see, again, there's nothing in there, okay? Now, let's take these tracks here and let's drag them in to Studio One, okay? We can see the tracks are added on these, these tracks here, but we also see that they're in the pool. If I hit save, it's gonna ask me, do you wanna copy these to the media folder? And I say, yes. But before I do that, let's take a look. I drag these tracks in, right? They're in the session now. But if I come look in my folders, if I look in the media folder, there's still nothing. We've created a cache folder for images, but that's that's we don't have to worry about the cache folder. But inside the media folder, there's still nothing. Okay, that means this song is playing back, streaming these files from this location over here. I don't love that workflow because things start to get separate. I like to have everything inside of one big dir folder, and the easy way to do that is to make sure it copies external files. This is a setting. It actually this setting might be different on your system, but when I if I open up preferences, um, I like to have this box checked. Ask to copy external files when saving the song. So anytime I bring in an external file and I hit save, that first time it's going to ask me. Now I actually didn't close that, so let's do copy external files. There they are. Let's say yes. It takes just a second to copy them, and now it has literally copied them into this media folder. See? Ta-da! So if I come over here and delete this folder or move it to another hard drive, this session will still be working because it's not referencing this other folder where the files originated, it's now only looking to its internal media folder for all its files. That's just the way I like to work. It makes sense to me. Everything is contained inside one folder structure. Okay, now let's say we came in here and we recorded some bass. And so we hit record, we're recording some stuff. Oh yeah, big bass part. Oh, let's turn that down. There's some stuff recording there. Boom, that's wonderful. You can see we now have this in the pool. But what if I delete that and say, that was a terrible take, delete, and I save. Did you notice something? It's deleted here. It's no longer here. I cannot get to it anywhere. It's not in a layer. It's nowhere else. It's essentially gone. However, the file is still here. And if we look in our folder, it's still here. Actually, there's two there. I must have recorded twice on accident. Um, if I hit record again, now we're trying this take again. And great. We stop playback, check it out. Now we have another track here. If we punch in over this, guess what? We've created, we're literally creating, these are all individual files, right? This isn't new, this is just pretty common sense, but here are those specific files there and they all live over in here. And if I come in and delete all of these and say, you're a terrible bass player, go away, I'm hiring someone else and I'm gonna record a new one. I mean, I'm just, I'm con constantly recording, recording, recording and each of these is a new file. And even if I come in and I press backspace or delete and they go away and I hit save, all those files are here. Now it's just kind of a safe backup because I could come in here and say undo and bam, they're back, right? Um, so, th but they're gonna live in that folder forever unless you do something about it. So if you're like me, you might record bunches of tracks like that where you record a minute or two of audio and then you delete it and do it again. Um, but that minute or two of audio is over here. Do that times an entire album and you'll have a lot of stuff in your pool that you're not actually using. So right now, if I come up to, if I come into the pool and I just right click, I can choose remove unused files. I can also get to there from the song page and this menu here from the song menu where it says remove unused files. And what it does, it says, 
All right, here are the files that are not being used right now, meaning these are ones that I've deleted from the session, but they still live in my media folder. And we can see that they live there because it shows me the path. This is in my dir folder under media. Now, if I say yes to remove these, here's what's going to happen. They're going to be removed from over here in the pool, but the actual files will actually still be in the folder. This is helpful if you want to if you're referencing another folder and you want to remove them from this session but not delete them from the original folder. Um, so let's just do that right now. I'm going to hit yes. Ah, it seems nice and clean. Now look, we only have two files in our pool like we expected to, but if we come over here, the files are still there, right? Um, that is because it's by design because if you were using a bunch of samples from a sample drive and you didn't copy them over to your folder, we wouldn't want, if I deleted them from one session, we wouldn't want them to delete the master original files over here because if another song was referencing those files, they'd be deleted for that song and you start messing up multiple songs by doing it that way. That's one of the reasons why I always opt to copy everything into this session so I don't have a random sample that I downloaded to my downloads folder that's a part of this song. And if I accidentally delete everything in my downloads folder, it messes up my song. I want to have everything in-house. However, if I use the delete unused audio function, remove unused files, right now it says there's no unused files because the song file only has two files essentially attached to it. However, these files are still over there. Okay. Now, the other way this works, we can delete these literally from here, but nobody's going to open up a folder and go find the files and delete them like that, right? Nobody's going to do that. All right, so let's record another couple parts here. There's a part. Oh, that's beautiful. There's a part. Oh, that's also beautiful. Now, if I decide to get rid of these tracks or to delete this track altogether, right? Bye bye. It's nowhere to be found. The files are still there. So if I, and if we look in here, we'll see the files are in our media folder as well. Now, if I do remove unused files and I say delete these files permanently, wha-bam, they're gone from here and now they're gone from here. What does that mean? It means my overall session size is smaller. Why is that important? Well, if you want to save hard drive space, hard drives can be I mean, nobody wants to buy extra hard drives if they don't have to. You can take your finished file, and sometimes your everything you've worked on could be a gigabyte and a half, but then you do this, you remove all the unused files and delete them, then you're looking at a session that's half as big or even more. Maybe it's only 500 megabytes and it was originally, you know, 1,500 megabytes. Um, that saves a lot of time, a lot of space over time. Secondly, if you're doing collaboration, either through Persona Sphere or you're just sending session files to someone else, Sending them a three gigabyte file when there's only a 500 megabytes worth of stuff they actually need is just annoying. It's a lot of clutter. It's more files to potentially, you know, get lost or misplaced. Practice good session hygiene and clean up your sessions if when you're done with them or if you're sending them to someone else. By the way, in case you're wondering, if you have... This is something that I, you can actually test all of this for yourself. So you don't have to memorize this. Just know that you can quickly come in and test. Let's say we have a layer for this acoustic guitar and we record something there. Okay. That is now a part of the session, right? We've recorded this. We can see it showed up here as AG parenthesis two. If we go back to the first layer, we can no longer see that file, right? It's a layer. It's underneath. It's not active in the sense that we can hear it right now, but it actually, to Studio One, it's still a part of the session. So if I go to remove unused files, it's going to say there are no unused files because if it needs to be visible in the timeline or a part of a layer to be considered to be considered used in this session. So if you've got a bunch of extra playlists that you don't need anymore and you're ready to say, I've got my final of everything, I really want to clean this session up, you can come in here to each of your tracks that have unneeded playlists, you can say remove this layer. Now, when I say remove unused files, it says, okay, there's this AG2 I want to remove. And I'll say, yeah, delete that sucker. Don't need that ever again. Because we record lots of takes for vocals and things like that. But once you have the final comped, tuned, perfect vocal, if you don't need those takes anymore, which we almost never do, there's an easy way to get rid of those and to tear, bring down your session file size significantly which has a lot of benefits. All right, that's it for me. Thanks so much for watching. Hopefully this cleared things up. Remember, if you, you don't have to remember exactly what I said in this video. Just know you can get to your folder here and you can see what's in there. You can also see what's in your pool. Um, and if you feel like you've got a lot of stuff in here that doesn't belong, you don't have to manually go find it. Studio One will say, okay, what, what's in my folder that doesn't belong here? It'll pop up a list and let you know exactly what it is and where it is. Then you can make some smart decisions from there.
All right, that's it for me. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.